Hi everyone, how you doing? Uh, thanks for watching. So today I just want to give a little review of my GoPro Hero 7 Black that I use for hunting. So on YouTube all year I was watching hunting videos and thought it'd be really cool to video my next hunt. So in Pennsylvania hunting starts after Thanksgiving, after Black Friday. So I got a GoPro Hero 7 Black on uh, Black Friday sale. And then hunting started the next day, Saturday. So I did a quick crash course on the Hero 7 Black, how to use it. And then I went out the next week and went hunting. So it was pretty cool. Uh, on my channel, you can see that video that I made if you'd like to do that. So what I wanna do today is give you some of the tips and tricks that I picked up from hunting with this GoPro and maybe help you with your experience. And then if you guys have learned any tricks hunting with a GoPro, please put them down in the comments because I'm fairly new to hunting with a GoPro. So there's a lot for me to learn too. Anyways, um, so let's get started. So the first thing that I was concerned about is battery life. Because obviously with any electronics, um, battery life is one of the most important things. And I, when I go hunting, I'm gonna go out in my tree stand and sit and might be all day before I come in. So I wanted to make sure my battery lasted the whole day. Actually it did, um, but what I did was I shut off a bunch of stuff that I knew I wasn't gonna use. Like I turned off Wi-Fi, I turned off GPS, and there's a beep that every time you push a button, it does a beep. Um, you definitely want to turn that off. So good news. If you, if you just have, you know, one battery with your GoPro, that should be good enough. If you're conservative, um, obviously I didn't have it running like all eight hours. I only turned it on, you know, when there was going to be some action, when I saw something I wanted to record or just whatever. Um, but yeah, while I was at it, I did bring, get an extra battery. So if I'm in a case where I need to, you know, be in the woods and my battery runs low and I change it, um, I have an extra. So it, it never hurts to have an extra battery. And when I was hunting, it was pretty cold. It was in the twenties, probably all day. So it's good to know that in the cold weather, you know, the one battery will last you. And it's a good thing because if you have to change the battery, it's pretty loud. Um, and I don't know if you want to make this much noise in the woods. So I'll just show you, um, the GoPro comes in a case. So to change the battery, you have to open the case. So you click the top, the back folds down, and then you can apply like even pressure and push it out. It's out. And then on the bottom, it just flips up. There's the battery. You can close it and make sure you get it right. Push it back in evenly. It's pretty snug fit. All right, I think that's in. Close the back hatch, and then you can lower this. There's another loud snap. All right, so kind of loud. I don't know how much noise you want to make in the woods. I guess it wouldn't kill you, especially if you're trying to video it. Um, but yeah, you probably want to avoid changing the battery. So. My recommendation is, you know, turn off all the features that you don't need and you're probably going to get a full days of hunting out of this. Um, as far as the SD card, I have a 28, 128 gig SD card. And then when I, there's different video modes. I picked, I was like the third one down and it showed like almost four hours of video recording time. So as far as having enough, um, like storage for your video, you're fine with that. So. You're not going to record like three to four hours of video. That would be a lot of editing to go through. If you're seeing that much action, you're in a pretty good spot. I only needed like I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes for everything I saw all day. Okay. So that's a little bit about the camera. Um, the gear that I got, I used, I got one of these head pieces. Um, Cause I didn't know how I was going to do this. Now this, um, the bottom clamp can come off and this can screw on here. Maybe another time I would try putting this on my head and hunting and then you'd have the camera kind of off you, off the top of your head. That might be good. Um, I mounted it on my gun because I thought I could hold my gun smoother instead of if my head was always jigging around then you know the, uh, the video might be going all over the place. So I didn't really use this. Um, so what I decided to use was one of these clamps. So this actually worked pretty good. 
So it's it's a really strong clamp that you can clamp, and then it has this arm. Now this arm, uh, you want to make sure you have it set before you get into the woods, because if I move this, I don't know if you can hear it, but it does make a lot of noise. It might not sound like a lot of noise here sitting on the back deck, but when you're in the woods trying to be quiet, it's a lot of noise. Um, let's see. So this is real easy. There's a clip here that slides up. This can just slide on, snaps, goes down, that's it. Now I have my GoPro on here. Now, what I, I thought about doing was I was in my tree stand, I thought maybe if there's a branch, I could clip it to the branch and just kind of have it sitting there the whole time. That'd be like perfectly smooth. And then I could maybe turn this. But then if I'm turning it, it squeaks a little bit. And when you got a deer close, I'm not sure you want to do that. So what I decided to do, uh, I have my gun. Uh, I just clamped it on my scope. So something like that. Now you can carry my gun around and I'm sitting in my tree stand and I have um, the GoPro already and it's always right on my gun and I'm not gonna miss like a deer or whatever because wherever I'm looking or wherever I'm shooting it's gonna be centered right on the deer hopefully <laughs> so that's pretty good one thing I was worried about setting it here was with this very small um, would it change the scope in any small way when you're messing with it and clamping it on turns out it, it doesn't seem to at least it didn't seem to affect mine I was worried about throwing the scope off on clamping it and clamping it but I put it on and I shot a few more times and it was um, the scope was still on so that's pretty cool you don't have to worry about that too much um, so then um, the next thing uh, let me show you about turning it on, and I think this is one of the cool features. So let me come around to the camera, see if you can see. Okay, so I don't know how good this is going to show up in the uh, in the video here, but let me start. The one of the cool things about the uh, the GoPro is the voice activation, and um, you can do it, you know, quiet when you're in the woods. So. I'll just do it first time, normal voice. GoPro, turn on. Now you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. But anyways, it, it turned on. And then you can do like, GoPro, start recording. So I don't know if you can see that, but it started recording. And GoPro, stop recording. And then you can see it stopped recording. So that's a pretty cool feature um, because, let me show you, when I'm sitting in my tree stand like this, I'm just kind of sitting here waiting, the video is almost like right at my mouth level. So you'd be like, GoPro stop recording, GoPro stop recording. And then whenever you hear a deer coming, you know, you don't even have to move. Your mouth is already pretty much right there and you can just say, you know, start recording, stop recording, um, turn on shut off whatever you want to do and you can be real quiet with it um, because it's just literally right there at your mouth you know you don't have to fumble around you got big heavy gloves on you don't have to try to hit a little button to turn it on turn it off so I found that was a really cool feature I used that a lot and then also that saves the battery because if you're just sitting there and a deer walks away and there's no more deer you just be like GoPro shut off you don't have to move and then it just turns off um, so saving battery sounds pretty cool um, and, and then I guess the last thing I would just mention um, the GoPro Hero 7 it has like um, the stabilization and that's really good so I had it on my gun um, walking around putting on a drive walking through the woods I did test it putting on here for the for your headpiece and then walking around and I was surprised how smooth it was. You couldn't really see, you know, a bunch of jerking and moving around. The whole, the whole thing was pretty smooth. So the stabilization on this camera is really good. Um, so overall, I would say this is, this is pretty cool. It's, it's a very good camera, I would say. I mean, I would say the only negative thing was that, you know, this is like an action camera, so there's not much zoom. So if, 
if you see my hunting video, it's like, you know, there's a deer out in the field and through the scope, the deer looks fine. It's nice and big, but then, you know, on this camera, there's not really any zoom. There is one little zoom that you can zoom in before you start recording. Um, there's not a sound like recording, like zoom in or zoom out. You don't have that option. So you could manually adjust the zoom and it, it only, I mean, you can see it doesn't really have much of a lens for zooming, so. I would say that would be the only downside, but it's not, that's not really what GoPro's meant for. It's more like an action camera, you know, strap it on and just go do something cool. So, um, yeah, besides the zoom, I mean, I think this worked out really good. Uh, I'm happy with the way my video turned out. I would have been happier if I would have got a buck. <laughs> so I missed my opportunity. Um, but yeah, the camera's awesome and I'll do it again next year. So thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have any comments, anything that you want to add, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments because I would be interested in hearing that also. So, all right. Thanks again. Have a good one.